Hi there, I'm back again. I wasn't planning on coming on tonight, but there's been some updates. Don't know what's happening. I haven't heard anything or seen anything since. So I don't know what is happening. Um, I'm browsing the YouTube. And there's nothing at the moment. I don't. Nothing coming through at the moment. Only what was on earlier. And I think I put that on my Facebook page. Hold on. Yeah, I'm sure I put it on my Facebook page. Yes. So, today, J.R.R. Investigate, oh god, bit wrong one, no I don't want that, <laughs> J.R.R. was out again at Paul Sebastian, Sebastian Rogers, 15 year old, been missing three weeks now, coming up to four weeks actually, be four weeks next week. Oh, I can take that off, you know, trigger warning. You don't need to have a trigger warning up there. But I can have him up there. I can put him up there, because that's what he, we're here for tonight, Sebastian. Right. And, as I said, I wasn't planning on coming on, because I've done a live earlier, which went longer than planned. But I did say there's a lot to cover. And I still didn't cover it all. Still didn't cover it all. So, I'm, I'm just checking. Right. Just check. No. No. So, hopefully, we will get some more information tonight. Because where they are, it's still early. Because this, uh, as you can imagine, happened this morning, in the morning. And that was, what, two, three hours ago? So this would have been a search started in the morning. And what I heard was the Cajun Navy was now involved. And I put this post up, and I put a post up saying, about time, more searches are assisting in the search of Sebastian Rogers. The search should never have been fully scaled back. They should never have fully scaled back. I know they had an investigation, right? But this investigation now is taking longer than what they've... They're spending more time on this investigation than they did on the search. They spent a week on the search. Yes, they covered a big area, but they needed to go even further out. Right? But I don't know what, where it was, I don't know if it's due to money, what, but then they scaled it back. And JLR did go drive around today. And actually, I'll show you that before we do anything else. Uh, if I can follow you. He did a uh, scene one where he dumped a drive around. Yeah, this is it. Right? And he just drove around the area. I'm not. So, as I said, he just drove around the area where Sebastian lived in those houses around there. And he also went on to the construction site area. And that was it. Oh no, he did drive up to where the search party was or or used to congregate by the fire station, I believe. And there's just a small mobile vehicle van there. Right? And I'm thinking, no, 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 this search should never have been stopped. This search should have gone further. 
and his father, Seth Rogers, have been out there every day looking. Every flipping day. For three weeks now, his father has been looking for his son. And for two weeks of it, two whole weeks, he's been doing it with him and two volunteers. Two, one's a, well, two friends, him and two other guys, searching these areas. And they can't search it all. It's vast areas, they can't get proper. You know what I mean? So, I think, thanks to JLR putting that, when he did that um, live the other day where he spoke to Seth and he went round with them, right? And we looked at that last night and he went round the, um, the search, the search and the several lad. And I thought, come on, there's got to be more searches out there, come on. People, just get yourself together. Like, we're now on, what, a weekend? So you got the weekend, you got Saturday and Sunday, you get out there and help. It's amazing how much you can cover in two days with the amount of pit searches. It's amazing. Oh. So I'm going to show you this one first, right? Show you this one first. And um, it just literally uh, drives around. It doesn't say much, it just drives around. Okay? So we're going to watch it first. Ashton Rogers case. Sebastian Rogers, 15 years old, still missing, was reported missing by his mother and stepfather February 26, 2024. I am in Hendersonville, Tennessee. The family of Sebastian, his mom, Katie Crawford, and his stepdad, Christopher Crawford, they live a little bit to the north of here. And I, I'm going to take you on a ride around their neighborhood. I'm going to show you firsthand where Sebastian lived. Up and down the roads, the construction site, the back of the family's home. Where is he? Take you to the fire station, the local fire station that was out there looking for this young boy. Still missing. We're going to go on a tour. Check this out. Hello to everyone on Twitter and YouTube who are here. If you like what you see in here, please give this a, a like. Post your comments. If you're on Twitter, give me a little heart. Click that little heart. Repost. The internet playing. I'm not sure if it's my internet or screen you are playing on. Your destination is on the right. This is the road where Sebastian is. Thank you, DP. DP Dad. It doesn't look good, you know. It doesn't look what I've seen it today on JR. And we'll be looking at watching that today. 
um, the constantly checking YouTube over and over again for updates, new updates, anything. If there's going to be um, any news reports, news press release, you know what I mean? Anything, but it's, uh, I haven't heard nothing. Thank you. As you can see, they're just driving through the area, and there's his head from now here. There's a trailer and his van. So that's their house, there's the front door. She have gone a bit slower because there's areas you could I'll point out. But just down here, if you shoot the camera off, just you no, know, come back just up that way. Is a there's a white building. That white building you'll see in a minute. It's like a garage or something like that. And it backs onto their that area. There it is. See that white building there. That's what backs onto uh, Katie and Chris's uh, house back, backyard. Uh, we're just coming up to the top of that other road where the construction site entrance is, just over here. And you'll see when you go down, you'll see it there. There. No, 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 sorry, no. There. How are you? That's where the construction site Hey, entrance. what's going on? You know, we're trying to find this young man. We're trying to get answers. And uh, how's the neighborhood doing? Good. I appreciate the support. There's an army of us trying to find answers, but I appreciate it. Thank you. You guys have a good day. You too. Take care. We're back in the UK, DP. I've been on this since day one. I heard it through. I just by chance I was watching another YouTuber, Chef Todd, and he's talking about it. The first day he's gone missing. And I thought, it's just something about this case that got to me. I think it's the fact that the lad on Newcastle. Nice. Nice. So, um, I'm originally from Birmingham. So, back to have you here. He goes back down and then he'll turn out the bottom of this road because he goes to the construction site. Man, there must be so many people driving up and around those roads, you know what I mean? <laughs> I live in Scotland and I still haven't lost my accent. I've been here since, what, 2000, 2008? Being in pre sixteen years. Yeah, I'm not far from you. Just across the border. I don't like to think that the mother's involved. I really don't. I don't want the mother to be involved. But she must know something. Forty-five minutes tops. It's forty-five minutes from where I live. Be bleeding. It's over an hour. 
Chúng mẹ bỏ lực chân ếch chứ vậy Lấy cái cách chân ếch về có sự phù hợp chả I don't think, I don't think she's involved to a certain point, right? Um, but so much has been coming out about the mother, and I don't want, I don't need to feel long enough. So I don't really want to talk about it. No, it seems like what uh, the father said, like, apparently she, she likes to drink, and she can get very angry, and everything that she drinks. And, I don't know. And don't forget she was in the Navy as well. She can defend herself. <laughs> well, I don't drive. I'm not a driver. Uh, I've never had the patience to become a driver. My husband used to hate it when he'd he be driving along in it. And my language was blue. He said, You could never be a driver. I said, No. They had me locked up for road rage. So I, I never, I did think about it once, and then I thought, No, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. But this is the construction side. I'm telling you how wrong be living there at the moment. I'm not needing for all this work going on around my house. So, because it's not as if you're finishing a lot a road, like one road of houses. You know what I mean? For and then getting on to the next road, doing so many houses, leaving, finishing them, then starting some other houses. And the other, and the top part of the road, which are still building sites. Um, I suppose they might build it as people buy the plots, that land, you know what I mean? I'd rather just build them all and sell them off. As I said, you don't talk in this, it just drives around. It's, giving you, uh, it's a bit like that other video I showed you the other week of another YouTuber. They did the same thing. Those buildings, I hope to God don't search. But then again, I think they were. I don't, I think what they found today, they found something today, definitely found something, because they wanted all the searches off park area, off there, they wanted all the cars on, everything. And they, get, and they, cut, they stopped the search, they called all the searches back, so, and then kicked them all out. And then Sebastian's father turns up. So, um, but someone said it, I don't know what. This would it turn up if the flipping queen was there. Now King was there at the side. You know what I mean? They, apparently they keep a uh, work work was they was told to stay at home by the police. Hmm. But Seth turns up. He gets word of it. He turns up. So I think that's just BS what last what the parents were saying. The police is telling them not to go. In my eyes, it makes them look more suspicious because they haven't been to any of the vigils. Right? 
And then the third one of them, they said they didn't go because it was the class bill. And it was more for Seth, the father's side of the family. No, it wasn't. It's for everyone. It's your son. You should be going to these vigils. I don't care about that shit face next to you, mate. You know what I mean? I really don't care about him. Yes, exactly. Hold on, when the mouse stops seeing a ballerina. Come on. Exactly, they are allowed to search, but they just don't. <laughs> she knows some, but I don't think she knows any chucky. Exactly. There'd be no way I'd be in my hands. I'd be like Seth. I'd be out from before the sun come up. Out there searching until the sun went down. There's no way the police would stop me from going out searching for my child. No way. My bad little Michael Vaughan. Right, monkey, right? His parents went out searching. They didn't stop them. You know what I mean? They went out searching. And even today, like, maybe three years later, maybe three years, right? They still go out and they put, if they see there's a you new know, post system where they put a post up on the wherever. Well, it definitely knows more. And that's why she wouldn't do that interview with Nancy Grace. Because Nancy Grace just wanted to buy her parents. She didn't want the stepfather there. And she won't do no interview without Chris being there. Or Chris won't let her do no interview without him being there. Yeah. Right, we're coming to the end of this now. Right, that, that. that was just the drive around. Right? Let's stop it. Oh, God. Stop. Did you see the live, uh, Smiley's live the other night? Dippy. That was a good one. Especially when Josh turned up. <laughs> ah, ah. He didn't like that. Didn't like when Josh come, come up. I noticed how his, his, the, his voice was so much harder. It's like he had to prove a point. Oh, my man, I can take you on. But you couldn't. I know. I, knew, I had the feeling that something would go down. And he won't do a live with uh, Josh. I'm the lab, he won't. He's too scared of Josh. My son said to me the other day, he said, why don't you have them on yours? I said, hey, mine's only small. I'm only very new. So I haven't got many subscribers. I said, but if I had 20,000 subscribers, I still wouldn't have them bullshitty, lie, manipulative, narcissistic, controlling, MF on my show. I would think. I'm trying to think of nice words to say about turning my house into blue. But that was the first one he did. Right? And as I said, there was no talking apart from that one time when he just acknowledged some of the neighbours. Right? He won't turn up the day to get to the day I've been there. But he didn't know J.R.R. was there, would he? He could have gone. Right? And J.R. could have turned to play after him. It's, he is a pussy. And like he said, he won't go on anyone's show who's going to make money out of it. Right? Well, Justin for all made a good point. He said, well... Does that mean all the news channels as well? Because they make money off it. No. 
I picked up last night when I was watching the beginning of Smiley's Life from the other night. Right? And he said, he goes on about JLR having a past and all that lot. Chris don't like JLR. No, because he says, he goes, um, JLR has a past, is being in prison, blah, blah, blah. Right? But then later on in that interview with Smiley, someone asked a question about um, them and their tribe, something to do with their lives, right? And they turned around and he turned around and said, that's the past. Oh, so it's all right for you to us not to talk about your past, but you'll sit there and talk about JLR. Yeah, JLR has turned his life around and he's doing good things now. So it's just, oh, I hate that guy. Anyway, we are going to watch this one now because it is a bit of a long one, but I'd like you to watch it. No, not this one. Boots on the ground, covering the... Why? This one. Right, look, I'll stop it intermittently, just to talk about it. Yep. Right. Just make sure it's all working. Yep. Okie dokie. JLR has been doing some good work on this, he really has. And I truly believe that it was his interview the other night, his live the other night with Seth, and going about on that walkabout on that search bubble, right? That's got other searches out there today, right? And then we found find out today Cajun Navy are there. And I thought, about flipping time. They should never have. I can see that. I can see it. I'm, you know what I mean? But we can watch that tonight. Yeah. All I've seen was this bit, the beginning bit, some of the beginning bit, then near the end bit where the search was called off and they've all been told to leave the car park. So we'll see that bit when it comes up. Come on, who's sitting in the bush? Who's in the bushes in YouTube? Come on, can we leave us a comment? I know there's some in the bushes. Anyway, so this is the video I saw today, and as I said, I only saw like the beginning bit and the end bit. I saw it like missed the middle bit out <laughs> because I was trying to rush time to see if it was any good going live. But when I seen it, I thought, yeah, I'm going live. Right, so here we go. LR investigates. All right, live at the scene, Rockland Recreation Center. The Cajun Navy is right over there with Seth Rogers, the uh, godfather, Sebastian Rogers, still missing over three weeks now. And they're organizing, something might be happening here. Uh, they're Kind of maybe setting up a perimeter here. We got some media outlets already here. And this is at Rockland Recreation Center, Hendersonville, uh, Tennessee. And the Cajun Navy is here for sure. Uh, friends of Seth Rogers are here. And a, a group of volunteers all over the place are here. And just kind of monitoring the situation. Media has starting to come. So the media got wind of what's going on here. Uh, you know, there is canine dogs in these uh, SUVs here. So we're gonna see and kind of monitor what's going in, uh, you know, spin it around. Are they gonna search this area? Uh, this is down by the road. Um, I don't know what's going on here, uh, but you know, I was told to come up here and yeah. bring an awareness to Sebastian's uh, situation. Um, so we'll see. Uh, the Cajun and Navy put out a, 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 some social media posts 
today saying that they will be assisting with the search for 15 year old Sebastian Rock, reported missing by his um, mother, Katie Rockfoot, uh, February 26th, a little after 6, uh, 6 a.m. in the morning time. So I'm going to spin the camera around to show you what's going on here. How's the reception? The reception okay here? This location, but the, they're down there. Uh, they're down there. Uh, KG Navy, it's Seth Rogers. Uh, father's not mixed. We're just gonna see what's going on and, and, and monitor this here. They kind of want everyone. They're setting up a, a perimeter, maybe like a command center for this particular search today. They are uh, out here, out and about. We got volunteers here that are here. People with uh, the Cajun Navy here. So we're going to kind of just see what happens and see what their next plans are. Are they going to go around searching in the woods? Do they know some things? Have they gathered some intel? Uh, that remains to be seen. Rockland Recreation Center. There are volunteers here. There's people here kind of just waiting to see what's going on. So I'm just going to kind of be on standby yeah. here. I can tell you, though. That people see the front of the gate here is locked, and I think they have a designated gate person up there that are people are trying to get in. So there's more volunteers uh, ready to come. There's more volunteers. I think they're letting them in now. Look, they are. I believe uh, there's a, there's a lots of vehicles out there that will probably come down to the area here. Rockland Recreation Center. So you know. Seth's father, or Seth, Seth, Sebastian's father, Seth, you know, he wants people to help. He's, he's been out here for days uh, that I know of, uh, days I saw firsthand. I spent an uh, afternoon at uh, Natchez uh, State Park, State Park, way out there, 200 miles away or you know, two hours away. I don't know how long the distance is, but off of I-40, here's some more and more vehicles are arriving here. We're out here covering the case here of missing. People are buying more volunteers. Can these cop folks? The community's out to help. Good. They have a rock. So we're going to see an off situation. There's, there's there, right there. As you see him, he's supporters and people that are close to him are over there. And they're discussing their strategy or what they're going to do. We don't know what they're going to do at this time. So we're just going to monitor. Might go into the woods. Well, fast forward so just to keep it a little bit, because it's just talking at the moment, and they're not actually doing anything. Right, this is where they start to get ready to go. So they don't have any cameras in that group listening in. Thank you, DD2. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for the support. I've, I've seen some people. Uh, we support, appreciate that, really do. All right, so she's saying they don't have maps, but we're just gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna help search myself. I'm also gonna search and stick with everyone and monitor and bring awareness to Sebastian. We are out here to find Sebastian. We're out here. And if you're in the area and you wanna come out, come on out. Boots on the ground. This goes on for a little while. So I'm just going to skip this bit, okay?
I think this is going to start to stir. Looks like they're gonna do some sort of bridge search. Like they're going like side by side. Yeah. Gonna go. We are at Rockland Recreation Center. I'm glad the reception's pretty good here, it looks like. We're bringing awareness to Sebastian. A lot of woods, treacherous out here. So I don't want to fast forward this bit because I don't want to miss that part with the dog, apparently. You all seem to be just walking along those why don't they spread out? You know what I mean? Touch some strong wings line there. Power lines. Be careful. Power lines. Full power lines. All right, they want everyone to move to the left. Yeah, when he says play guys. Looking for Sebastian. They want this whole area searched. I think some people through kind of like just spread out and kind of that's the way I say it. All right, everybody's going to do this way. spread out and push through, yeah. That's guys walking back Everyone and forth. Like spread and out and uh, just looking in this general area here, folks. Like, look all over the, in the trees. Parking lot. Right by the, right by a lake here. I don't know what lake this is. I'm not from here, as you know. Old Hickory Lake, thank you. Old Hickory, this is Old Hickory Lake, and... They said they're going to get the dog Isn't back. that funny? That's old Hickory Lake. That I heard. Right, and where did they find Madeline Soto? Old Hickory Road. Also, out of respect, folks, uh, just want to let you guys know um, you know, if Sebastian is found, I will not in any circumstances show him. You understand what I mean? Out of respect, that's what yeah. they're asking for. Do they know what they're doing these searches? So they're, they're going down in a row. As yeah. you see, they're going to go down in a row. Go in a row and walk up. Together. So they're all probably about 10 feet apart. They're all lining up and they're all going to walk this way. 
Mm. You got that one That's one great. going back that way, you know what I mean? Get back in line. For God's sake. This person getting a, a group of young kids to ride up at for school. Don't look just in front of you, look to the sides, to the left and right of you. Because I must admit, when I'm watching anything like this, right, when you was out in the search the other night, the other day that said, I wasn't taking any notice of that, I was looking behind him and to the sides of him. This is the terrain that they're looking, folks. All this area here, all along yeah. these like trees that are all down. Not easy. Rockland Recreation Center, folks. That's where I'm at right now. Can't be that hard around. to get in a line. Of a big search out here for 15 years of bats. If you're in the area and you want to help make a difference, come on out. Building uh, If you're worried about a few branches, this ain't the search to be on. I'll be right over them. Also, folks, I'm myself while uh, the camera. Yeah. They're saying that we search things around too. But I mean, this is a lot of trees area and old hickory lake go down here i'm looking like perfect class as well to hide your body isn't it Hey, everyone up there, move to the right, please. Thank you. So they're what what they're doing is they're all like every square inch out here, someone has eyes on them, and they're all going down in a line. Uh, this is a search for Sebastian Rogers as far as fishing. I don't know. Hey, until you don't otherwise fish away. Yeah, thank you.
is fast forwarding it a little bit. Come on, internet. Come on. All right, so they're waiting for, so they're waiting for any Brandon to come down and take a look at this this bone that they found. Uh, we'll see what happens here. On my, on my assumptions, it's probably an animal. Yeah. So we'll wait and see. Uh, in the meantime, you know, come on out. There's actually another group up a farther away. They have different spots here that they're searching along uh, this area here. All these trees that are knocked down. You know, there's a parking lot that brings you here off off of. Uh, I think it's like power line road in the in, in the area so they are out here i mean there's there's a bunch up there too i think group a total group out here thus far that i've seen at the beginning maybe a group of 30 to 40 are out, out here all over the place including cage navy including seth rogers uh, seth rogers is out here uh, he had long conversations with, with the organizers of the search before the search started uh, more people in the woods coming out. I'll follow along. This is Rockland Recreation Area, U.S. This Army Corps of Engineers in Hendersonville, Tennessee. Uh, this is a search area that they are doing right now. Looking for 15 year old Sebastian. If you want to come out and help, come on out. And it's got me. I never one yard from there. All right, so they're going to go into this woods here. They go the line. They're all lining up, and they're all going to knock off the top and show you. Basically, going shoulder to shoulder. Fourteen out here in this location. I don't know if it's my internet or his internet playing up or... So... Look at this set that they're having to walk through. Oh my lord. Thank <laughs> you. 
This is horrendous. Got more volunteers out here. I'm gonna follow this group here. This part. Take you through the area. And they're looking at every nook and cranny for It's hot and it won't be very nice walk through that. You don't know this case, my mate. Some bed. There was nothing. So the dog had hit on the dog hit on something, but it wasn't Sebastian. Hmm. I'm just glad to see the searches, the searches back on. You know what I mean? It should never have been called off, not fully called off. I know they're looking into the investigation, but they should have still kept the search going. Because the father for the last two weeks, has been doing this with him himself and two friends every day. Nice to see you in here though. Mary. May May, come back. It's about a fifteen year old boy or autistic boy who went missing three weeks ago now. Sometimes between five at night and six in the morning. So he didn't take his phone, didn't take anything with him, no shoes, no coat. Just a little keychain torch. That's the only thing he had. My accent is from Birmingham. From Birmingham, the UK. Oh, good. So, uh, it's heartbreaking. I've been on this case now since day one, so I've been covering it for three weeks now. Sleeping. Well
No. Please give this a like. I greatly appreciate it. That's not nice to walk through. I think if my internet is playing up. Thank you, my man. Yeah, I'm from the UK. You haven't been there, I'd like to go there. They want to make sure they got the full area searched. Location. This. Hold. So we're on a hold right now, like a hold standby. More or less on a, on a, a line that goes pretty far up. I think it was a total of 15 in this particular group, and they're all spread out, and they're all pushing like kind of like at the same time. Moving, they've already moved from west to east, or going back east to west, or you know, through the woods here, and they're all just looking around. You know, sometimes they find animal bones. Oh, they get there. They notify their leader that he takes a look at animal bones. Well, my internet just my hacking. And I'm also looking for myself. And also bringing awareness. Sebastian needs to be found. Yeah, you do. Because I feel sorry for the father, Seth. I really do. I wish me I took Sebastian last year when he said he was going to have him last year. He didn't. You know, this isn't live. I'm live, but the video isn't live. This is doing a couple of hours, about two hours ago now. Uh, I've just been waiting to see if there's been any more live updates anywhere. So I haven't seen any. And normally, I don't want to hold right now. Normally pops up on my screen if there's any updates. I'm going to over here. They're searching something in this tree area here that they're looking at. This is an ideal place to hide the body there, wouldn't it? With all these trees and branches that are falling down. But I heard there's a tip off, that's why they came here. Alright, so, well, uh, now, what would, you know, like the coordinator said, you know, if they find something out of respect, you don't want yeah, that. yeah, I'm gonna kind of be back a little bit because I, you know, you never know, and that would be inappropriate, you know. All right, so um, mm -hmm. what's going on here is they're they're looking at something up here. Uh, again, you know, better be safe than sorry, right? Uh, anything on, uh, unusual that they just take a look, they evaluate. So, the call of action is out, folks, and uh, I think people are responding to that call. Another group I wasn't familiar with, I see up here.
And they got water bottles up there for the volunteers. There's a massive, there's a massive group up here now. A lot of cars. Is there other groups around that way that you know? Right there, Jay. Awesome, what you mean? Shalon. Like, like like How are you? I'm just starting eight on YouTube. Sarah, I'm, I'm just helping Seth with some stuff. I had, to, had a new Amber Alert that came to me that said that Sebastian was abducted. So I had to send it to him, send it to him. So is that real or? That's real. That's from the Deputy Skaggs. You Deputy. Twitter, don't you? Um, yeah. Too. yeah, Deputy Skaggs. Yeah. And, uh, Interesting. Yeah. Well, what makes people think uh, Sebastian was abducted? We have no clue. That's what we're going to, that's what he's going to research. Gotcha. We just did it to the detective. Thank you. And thanks for the support and the follow. Uh, yes. Where they, where can people follow you? Uh, I know what on Twitter, seven underscore revealed. Mm -hmm. And then I am on YouTube. I don't have any channels. So y'all can just find me discerning eight. But I do volunteer with Core TV. I handle their um, chat. So you I handle Core TV? Yeah, you're a moderator? moderator? Oh, you're yeah. doing big things and with Core TV. We like Core TV. And I run the fan community on Twitter for Core TV. Awesome. Thank you for everything you do. This one. All right, so uh, they're going to do another location, maybe over here. We'll see what happens when we're monitoring situation. JLR investigates. If you are in the community of Hendersonville and you want to come out, make. All right. No, look, here's the thing. There's yes. nothing involved with any searches. They're not, they're not responsible for this search or any search. Okay. That's the thing. So you're here. Quit trying to say that they're responsible. They're not. Okay, so. Back. You hear it, folks. You were just heard it. I mean, the profits are not re not part of this search, they haven't searched. So whatever you're hearing out there where the profits are claiming, and, and I, that's my assessment too. You just heard it from someone. Uh, you want to say who you are? What's going on? What's your name? <laughs> they know who you are. For people who are just jumping on. Terry Lynn. Terry Lynn is here, folks. And you got Terry Lynn. And if you guys, uh, you know, you guys know Terry Lynn, if you've been following the case. And I have to agree with what Terry Lynn said there in reference to the profits. They have been on one search, not one video. Not one search, not one video. No excuses. No excuses. What's the excuse? Doctor, they haven't been on any searches. There's no reason for them not to go on these searches. Got a train over there. This is going parallel to a train track. All right, so they're kind of doing a whole they just keep going and then hold and then they want everyone in sync. Yeah. No, I don't think anyone else is behind. I'm sorry. My headphones hurt my ears. So I have to take them off my ears and just hold it to my ears. This is a live search, folks. These volunteers out here uh, pouring their hearts trying to find Sebastian. Oh, they're talking from a tornado. Okay. Okay, so all those trees knocked down, folks, that we saw earlier, pulled it was from a tornado. That came through. I was wondering about that. I thought maybe they were like, taking them down because they're going to build or something. Uh -oh. Tornado.
All right, so the group is moving. I keep skipping so much. It's just so often. Okay, the dogs are out. Heard them? Dogs are out. They continue to, they're gonna go down all this area here. And I'm doing it myself. My eyes, as I'm filming folks, my eyes is peeled over the ground too, just so you know. So <laughs> Help. Help, please. Can't be there physically, but I've never virtually. I've got strong winds there. We've got high wind. All right, I said walk. I'm gonna go over here and kind of intercept this loop over here. Look out for poison ivy. <coughs> A lot of thorns, too. Okay. So I got people scattered out all over the place and they're just holding the line and waiting. Let me see what's going on back here. Headphones, I'm not calling All right, they're either. calling law enforcement, folks. That's what I'm told. I don't know what's going on here, folks, but. Good thing. No, we just stepped on a big spot, like where Seth's been recently. It's receiving you know, like, that. In a big spot. Nice spot. Did you step on a spot? I'm going here. No problem. Yeah, we will. You're back there. Right about to keep forward, okay? We're just doing a search. Good thing. We're just doing a search. This is the first. We don't know what's underneath the course. There's no links on it. It doesn't like check for that one. Oh, boy. We don't know. So that's just weird, isn't it? 
So let's yeah, yeah, yeah. Over there. It's a piece, piece of tape. It's like a tape or something with blood. With blood. Insulation. Sometimes or not. It can be moved that way. Alright, um, okay. Hmm. Come on, I'm gonna stop playing I went with a new internet provider because my last one was absolutely crap. Precautionary, just to check it out. I this think, is better, uh, but I feel like it's a problem. Off this area here. Come on. Please give this video a like. We'll really help push this out there. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, God. It's such a shame. I was doing a live earlier when this come out. First come out. After I come off my live, I seen it. I thought, oh my god, what have I missed? But Sebastian needs to be found. And if someone would just open their mouths and tell us, we, we wouldn't have all this problem. I don't know if it's my internet or his internet or what, you know what I mean? Come on. Like, who's close to the road? Nobody now. Nobody. Yeah, we need you to someone close this to the road on Brandon. This road. I'll go. This road out here. Uh, Seth is not here, but uh, down here in this particular location, he's here in, on on scene somewhere. He's with the canines. Okay, Seth, to find your body. I'll leave you. You gotta go, folks. Yeah, they gotta go. The search has been called off. You got a dog here. All right, something's going on. I'm bringing in the dog just to see. All right, I got the dog. Let's see, Come on, see me, because I can't. Because you lie down. Because if you lie down, that means something. Waiting to see what's going on, folks. I got it all back there. We have a bone over here, sir. We have a bone. Right here. Zoom in, Jayala. Got the canine dog out here.
Barking. What's he barking at? Okay, Dave. He's going straight back to that spot where he was at first, and it's lay down. Yeah. He smelt there, he ran around, and then he went back there, smelt again, and lay down. So, Summit is there. on the phone folks so you know they know they know the behavior of the dog yeah he's rewarding the dog now you see you see the dog jumping up in the water okay they're kicking us out yeah all right everyone follow out they're kicking us out so we might have something here folks uh this is a, a professional dog handler here that knows a lot about dogs and told us to leave we're backing out we're going back to the parking lot folks Something's going on here, possibly. Oh, come on, monkey mate. Right, now this is them back at the car park. Does it pull this? It has, doesn't it? Sir, sir, you get in your car and go, please stop. We're done. I'm no. no, get in with her. I, I'm her. I can't walk her. Well, then go now. Please. Come on. Nothing. We're on a federal property. Oh, we can't have permission. Yeah. Fish and wildlife. Gotcha. And I'm the PD. Where are you going? Going up to the end of the road. They want everybody off the road. Oh, yeah, they're telling everybody to get off the road now. They're telling everybody, get in your car now. Get off the road. Get off the road. I'm going to walk up to the front of the road. I'm not a USA citizen, but I thought federal property was public property. <coughs> Please come and tell me if I'm wrong there. And uh, we'll see what happens here. We'll see if someone arrives. We'll see, you know, we'll see what's going on. See all the cars are leaving. So they were just told not to go on there. Uh, but they were unlocking the door. So why would somebody, somebody call, basically? And she's over there saying all this crap and yelling, and got to get us out of here. So she's like, everybody out the property because we're about to go to jail. I'm going to jail. I mean, I've never been arrested. So what, what about, the, tell me the situation about what was found. What was that? It, the dog, uh, it did hit on um, uh, something. I mean, is it, uh, could be blown over that. Are they the bringing LE? Um, uh, Apparently they were because you know, somebody called and <laughs> they were going to have us put out. Yeah. We had to get out now. I mean, I was like, okay, let's go. Uh, gotcha. and, uh, but no, there was something that was fresh out of something. I don't know what it could be with the community that alerted. I'm not seeing the alert. Um, and there was something that had some. But what brought them to that location? A tip. A tip. Yes. A tip from. That was called in. I just know a tip was called in on that one. Uh, and then there's uh, a ton of pieces that we're meeting here. Yeah. Uh, and we have a few more places. Okay. So there's, there's, there's multiple be, searches. There's another one that was never searched. That Right, so it took this person three weeks to phone me with a tip. Where's he been for the last? Where's this person been for the last three weeks? You know what I mean? They searched. Gosh, we didn't. It was. Gotcha. When the initial search, this went on the five mile radius. Went on five. Went on five. So, 
So the five mile radius search last night. The five mile radius search, it was just a little bit out of that grid part, uh, which I, I did see it in Shelton earlier this morning. Um, that was a, that was a big screw up. Gotcha. But uh, they never searched for the cave, I think. Uh, uh, cave? The cave and some other things. We were initially going to be Joshua. Thank you for the ride. <laughs> Are right, we gonna go down near the water here and see what's going on? Apparently, they're just telling everyone to get off the property. We weren't supposed to be there. They told somebody eventually said to be there or something, or something going on with what was found. Either war, everyone left. Even Gage and Navy, Seth's father, they all left. Everybody left. So they're out there. Everyone's out there searching volunteers, and it was that just mm. general area up there, uh, looking around for Sebastian. Hello. What's this name? Hickory, Old Hickory Lake. Old Hickory Lake. Okay. That's a Rudder restaurant. Rudder. Okay, so that's the Rudder restaurant. This is Old Hickory Lake. Well, yeah. That's coming to an end. A few more minutes and it'll be finished. Right? But if a dog, it might not be Sebastian. Someone's just said up here. Mary said, uh, what they found earlier with JLR was nothing. It might be nothing, you know what I mean? But they can't take the chance. And it has to be checked out. Right. But they seem I think everyone's congregating over in this area now in this place. So if it's nothing then will the search would the search carry on? Would they have everyone back in and continue with the search? They should do. Because that is You've seen it yourself, watching that, what they're walking through, and all them trees down, and branches everywhere. Perfect place to hide the body. Perfect place. So, and as for his mother and stepfather not being there again, because apparently the police have told him to stay at home, which I don't believe. Right, it's not looking good on them, but I'm not going to these sites to these searches or to these visuals. You know what I mean? It doesn't look good, there's no reason for them not to go. Seth is there, Seth isn't being told, No, stay at home, don't go out looking. He's been out looking for the last three weeks, two weeks. With just him and two other people. Because the search is called off. The father carried on doing the search. And each day they go and they plot a place to go search. And they spend like three or four days there. Then they think, well, we've done our best there. Let's look somewhere else. You know what I mean? And go there. So, um... It's not good news. I'm going to see if there's anything else on YouTube first, right? Just to make sure nothing's come up and not come up on my screen. Uh, Chronicles of Olivia, that was an hour ago. Search with Sebastian, big spot with no leaves. Right. <sighs> um, clutch them pearls is live at the moment. I think, yeah. So at the moment, there's no new, no new updates. So. It's a shame. I feel bad. I feel really bad for the father. He should have took Sebastian last year. He said, I'm alive. He just jumped up on panel. They invited him up late at night. He's back at home. And uh, he jumped up on Josh's, Josh's panel, the lab. And it's a bit more light-hearted, really, because they got to know a lot about Sebastian. What he likes, right? And how he was with his dad. 
which is really nice to hear. Right? Um, but you said you should have had him last year. Should have had him last year. So, I don't know. I think he should have had him last year. But I think maybe that was down to the mother as well, by not letting him go last year. But because they know that if they, once Sebastian went to live with his dad, they've got to pay the father child support. Right? And, um, and I think it, there's more scared as well that uh, perhaps Sebastian might actually turn around and start telling them what was actually going on at home. Right? I've heard a lot about the mother. I don't know if it's true, so I'm not going to really go into that. I know she was in the Navy. Right, so she's trained in martial arts and all that lot. She knows how to defend herself. Oh, and something else about Sebastian. When he was born, he was born with some like fluid or something on his brain. Something like that. Or but if he hit his head, it could kill him. You know what I mean? So has he hit his head and something's happened? Good to see you, Kat. Good to see you here. Um, so, I didn't know that about I did hear some earlier on about it, but I didn't really click onto it, pick up on it. But yeah, he's got like a fluid or something on the brain and if he hits his head too hard, or if he hits his head in that certain spot, it can kill him. So, has something happened at home? And I still believe that he had some sort of meltdown because of what his father said when he went to the home on the day he went missing. He said, I got there. The house was uh, spotlessly, spotless clean, as usual, except, and that one word keeps coming back to me, except for Sebastian's room. And your father said when he's been at his, his room is spotless, it's tidy. Now, <coughs> children with autism, right, they like everything in a place, especially as they get older. They like to keep everything in a place so they know where everything is. So, yeah, they do get the toys out and play with them. And, yeah, they do tend to leave toys out on the floor, especially when they're younger. Right? They don't tend to put the toys away. But that's like most children. Shush. Oh, no, I've got my kitty door. Hold on. Um, but apparently, if Sebastian hadn't cleaned his bedroom up to how they how they wanted him to clean it up, the stepfather would go in with a, a black bag or whatever and throw everything that's on the floor, everything into the bin, into the bin or black bag, and then get Sebastian. To carry that black bag down to the bin area, down to his bin. No, well, yeah, I used to threaten my kids with the black bag. They see me coming up the stairs rattling that black bag as you do to open up. Oh my god, did they pick everything up off that floor? Right? And then because they picked it all off the floor, they knew they had to put it away. Because otherwise, when they went to bed, it will be back on the floor, and if it went back on the floor, I'll just pick it up again and bag it. But I wouldn't have thrown it away. I'd have put the bag in a cupboard somewhere. You know what I mean? 
But there's no way to throw this, their toys away. And then when they said, oh, where's this gone? I'll go out. You left it on the floor. When you show me you can keep your bedroom tidy, you can get them back. But I've never had to do that because they heard me coming up them stairs with the black bag and they moved. In fact, it, I'll tell you how good they were. Bag they were. If they see me going to the living, into the kitchen to get the black bags, as I'm going in the kitchen, they was running up the stairs to their bedroom to move everything off their floor. So then I'd say, well, being as you picked everything up off the floor, put it all away then. Put your clothes away, put your books away, put whatever you've got on your bed away. Everything's got a place, put it in that place. And they did. So it's not, but it's nice to see you, Truth Seeker. And Good Wind and May May, May May, or Sun Bear and Mary. Good to see you in the chat. But um, that was too harsh, what he did. And that's what I was playing last night, because the night before, I played a bit back where he used the belt. And I played it in a live because I could not believe what I was hearing. And the fact that she stuck up for him as well, because something was said about this belt, right? And uh, the mother said, and no, I didn't let him meet my son with a belt, right? And then further on, uh, I'm not sure who brought it up again. He might have been smiley, <laughs> right? But he brought up again. He said, yes, I did once give him a lick of the belt. I don't care if it was once or 10 times or 20 times. Once is once too many. You don't use a belt on a child. God, we grew, I grew up in an era where parents did use a belt on a child. Yeah? But not now, not in today's day, and especially not with an autistic child. And the fact he took his snake off him. They have said themselves, he's 15 years of age, but he's got a, he's got a brain of, I think they said, 11 or 12 year old. He's so many years behind in his thinking. So if you've got an animal, you've got to teach them how to look after that animal, right? So you have to help them, be it every once a week with a snake, could be once a week or once a month. You've got to help them do that snake. And then with an autistic child, it will, it will become routine. And you routinely, once a week, go and clean the snake. But the, as parents, they weren't going to show him how to do it. They just told him, you've got to clean him out. You've got to make sure he's got water. You've got to feed him. Right? Would you understand if they if he had a rat that you've got to defrost it first? Right, get to the right room temperature before you can put it in there because the snake won't eat it if it's cold. I've known my son put mice, frozen mice, right, defrost it and then dip it and soak it in uh, warm water so it gives off a heat, right, before putting it in the cage. And then the snake will come round because he's got this small snake. Just come round and you'll see the heat coming off the snake. And you'll eat it. But would a 15-year-old with a mental break of like a 12-year-old understand that? No. I don't think my son at 12 would have understood that. You know what I mean? Plus he had a spider and that was bad enough. You know what I mean? It's like, have you fed the spider? No, not yet. Well, I think you need to speed, feed the spider. But can you wait till I've gone out? Just wait till I go out before you feed the spider. Because <laughs> if that spider gets out that tank, I'm out of this house. Full stop. So my son's had, he's had rats, he's had uh, spiders, and now he's got a snake. And he's had this snake for years. Years. So, but unless they're going to show him, personally work with him and to show him how to do this, he's not going to understand. 
they don't understand. So he took the snake and all the other snakes off him and gave them to a friend. Why? Right? He loved that snake. That was his only friend he had. He took the one thing he loved off him. The one thing he loved. And then you take his toys in. And if he's got any crafts or anything, children, autistic children are very good. They like to paint and draw and colour. Right? They like to build things. So if he's building something and he's left it on the floor, you go in and throw it in the black bag to put out by the bin. He's just one vile person. I wouldn't do that to my kids. I've got a grandson who's on the spectrum, and I've got another grandson who's laying out looking, is on the waiting list to be assessed. But, first, they mess their bedroom up like a, it's like a tornado's gone through my house when they're there. Within five minutes, that bedroom can be trashed because they're going and they tip all the box, the bags out, the tubs open. And I'm going, why don't you just take one thing out? But ah, oh, but we're looking for this or we're looking for that. So we end up with all these little toys and whatever all over the floor. And what I do sometimes, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I leave it like that until I've gone home and then I'll go in and clean it up. But other times I go, Come on, let's clean this mess up, help me pick it up. My granddaughter will do it. She'll come and help me pick it all up. Right? My grandson, he'll go, No, I'm going in your room, Gran. And he'll go in my room while we're charging up their room. I'm going, You're joking me. But my granddaughter will help me pick it up. But my grandson won't. Sometimes he does. Like I've known his mum going to his room, Gran. We've got a lot of broken toys here, so we sort them out. And he'll sit there with his mum and he'll sort these broken toys out, right? And there's one toy that had one little thing missing, one little thing missing, perfectly good otherwise. We still use it, but no, that one little, because there's one little item missing on this toy or something like that. He said, no, throw it out, mum, throw it in the bit to the bin. So he will do that. And I find that's better if you do that because then they understand when things get broken, you need to throw them out. Rather than going there yourself, so well, that's working, that can go in there, that can go in the bin, that can go. In. Because if you do that when they're not there, they're not learning. But if you do it while they're there, I say to them, well, if you get rid of all these old toys and broken toys, we can buy you more toys but we need to get rid of these broken toys and they will willingly sort the toys out with you but they weren't doing that with him those expect those treating him like a 15 year old young autistic child right those treating him like that it was high functioning yes but there's certain things I'll uh, try to explain how it functioning because it means, I was reading up on it, it means they can live a normal day to day life, right? They can go to school, they can get dressed themselves, they can bath themselves or shower themselves, they can get themselves a sandwich or some food, some breakfast, they can do all those things themselves, right? But there's things that they can do but takes them a little bit longer to do, to learn, and I was reading up on it the other day about it, I keep meaning to bring it into the live, show you it in the live, I might do just one live for about an hour and just go through this one, just do a video on it, because there's so many factors to it. Chris done a, an interview with JLR. Sippy Birds had to leave. Really? Okay, Danielle. 
And see for that, I'll have to look that up. I'll have to try and find that. I haven't seen that on JLR page. But I'll have a look for it. Hold on. That link's not open. Unless he's not put the interview up yet. What's this one? No, that's just where he's talking. He's not talking to them. I can't find it, Danielle, but I'll have a look. I'll keep looking for that interview. Because I know JLR did reach out to him. And he got back to him because he was showing us the messages. And he was saying, and Tissa said this himself, that he, he don't want to do an interview with JLR because he don't want him to profit off it. Right? Fair enough. So Chris, last week sometime, messaged him, saying, replied to his message he sent him, and said, okay, that's fine. Whatever I make off my life, I will donate to whatever. And Chris hadn't got back to him, but I don't know if he's got back to him since. But then the other night when he was on the live with Smiley, he's going, he will not do an interview with JLR. And JLR has said, it doesn't matter now. If he came to him now to do an interview, he will not do an interview with Chris. So. I know he's done an interview with Seth. I think he's done a couple of interviews with Seth. At least one. I know he did one the other day where he was speaking to him outside that park where they, were, where they were searching, where the three people were searching. And then he went on the search with them. But that was with Seth. I've not seen him do one with uh, Chris. And the both said they wouldn't... Chris has said he won't go on JLR. On JLR has said he wouldn't have Chris on his show. You know what I mean? It doesn't because what Chris is saying, like, I can understand what in a way what Chris is saying. He don't want people to profit off Sebastian, which I think is entirely right. It shouldn't be. Right? I hate these YouTubers who put some up on there as a title and it's like clickbait. Like the other week, what was it? When some, you know, Riley Stray, right? When that first body was found in the river. Someone put up on a YouTube channel, Riley Stray, body found. I thought, oh my God, no. So I, what did I do? I clicked on it. It wasn't Riley. It was some other lad, some other guy. I thought, oh darn. Your title said Riley Strain, Body Fund. That's telling people Riley Strain has been found. And he hadn't been. He had been now. But this was like, what, a week ago? This YouTube went out. I thought, that is clickbait. People are going to click on that because you're the title, and I don't like that. That's why I don't. I just put my titles very simple. Let's find Sebastian Rogers. Yeah, let's find him. Cajun Navy is, not, is called in, which they were. You know what I mean? I hate this title where it's, got, where it's like clickbait. 
So I'm just missing like word it differently. The cookie said, body finding with a not rolling. You know what I mean? Or could it be Riley? But it wasn't Riley, it was some other guy. And then they found another woman in the river, did they not? Oh, another body in the river. So they found two bodies in that river before they found Riley. But I know for a fact Chris said he won't do an interview with JLR. Because Marlou's saying she wishes she, he would. But JLR won't do the interview now. He won't do it with him. But there's something I found out about Chris. I don't know if anyone's noticed it. He'll do interviews with women. But he won't do interviews with me. As soon as Josh came up on Smiley's channel the other day, the other night, he's all... He's holding me at James. You could hear it in his voice. He's like very combative. Right? Like he's ready for this argument with Josh. I thought, why are you like that with me? Why? Because believe me, come on my show. If I had 20,000 subscribers and you come on my show, you wouldn't get away with it easy. I'd be like, Josh. You know what I mean? I'd be calling him out on everything. Like, why do you think it's good to... Why do you think it's a good idea to throw his toys out? Why can't you just bag them up and put them in a cupboard and then when he, when he realises his behaviour, give, give him those toys back? You know what I mean? You don't have to throw them away. And it's like the snake is going to a friend and he said... If he ever wants to snake back, he can get it. But he will never get that snake back. Never. I just wish the father had took Sebastian last year. I don't think we'd be here today if that was the case. Anyway, I'm going to go. Thank you, everyone, for coming in chat. Right, love seeing all these new people coming in my chat. Please, I um, hold on, when I find it. <laughs> oh, god, please, if you like this video, what you've seen, all right, please subscribe, hit the bell, hit the like, hit the bell, comment, and share. It really would help. So thank you everyone for being here. I'm going to say goodnight because it's been a long day for me. I've already done one live today and I wasn't planning on coming back on tonight. So hopefully we won't, there won't be nothing tonight, but hopefully if there is, it'll be tomorrow morning. But some of just come on before I go to bed, I'll pop back on again just quickly to update everyone. Okay? So until then, thank you all. Good night.